Hi, this is Deborah, and today we are going to talk about Mad Magazine's image called The Militarization of Officer Joe. The Militarization of Officer Joe is a spoof of the Norman Rockwell painting called The Runaway, which is a sweet painting of a nice police officer talking gently to a boy who has run away from home. Norman Rockwell was an American painter who was born in 1894 and died in 1978. His works were and are very popular as they show pictures of the everyday average American culture. Although many people love Norman Rockwell's work, some people believe that his paintings show an idealistic portrayal of American life. Idealistic means unrealistically aiming for perfection. So, Rockwell painted images that were the way many Americans wished America was, maybe not so much as how America really was. The Runaway depicts a kindly state trooper talking to a little boy at a diner counter. In the magazine's updated version, the image is influenced by events in Ferguson, Missouri and the debate about the militarization of local police forces. So what exactly happened in Ferguson? Michael Brown, who was an unarmed black teenager, was shot and killed on August 9, 2014. He was shot by this man, Darren Wilson a white police officer in Ferguson, Missouri, which is a suburb of St. Louis. People were upset, wondering how a boy who had no gun on him ended up dead as the only thing he was accused of was stealing a small item from a store. Some people felt that this was police brutality, which is when police use severe physical force and violence. The shooting itself prompted protests. A protest is a statement or action expressing disapproval of something. But things got really bad when it was announced that Mr. Wilson, the police officer in the case, was not going to be indicted. Indicted is when someone is formally accused or charged with a serious crime. The announcement set off another wave of protests. Looting and riots started. Looting is the stealing of goods during a war or a riot. Since then, the relationship between the police and the black community has not been very good. Which is why Officer Joe went from looking like this to looking like this. Unfortunately here, the officer isn't the reassuring presence he once might have been. With continued work and effort, the situation will improve in the future. Hopefully. Thanks for listening.